Oh, Friday night call out, boys. Look at the stairs. <laughs> Has anyone been in here in 10 years? Jesus. So, been looking for a panel supply for a big conveyor system. Right, so the start of this call out was the power supply here was dropping out. We're losing comms with the PLC. It's a bit of a mish. Um, I isolated a bunch of stuff to try and get the power supply working. Was getting it starting to perk back up. Um, but then we're having troubles. There's another panel. You can probably see right there. Um, that one's, this power supply's daisy change off. Anyway, long story short, after a little bit of mucking around, uh, the phases, so there's two drop phases here. So I'm gonna go and try and fix that in the main panel, which I've, I've already been over there, but I'm just explaining the start of this job. But we'll flip these back on because they don't didn't need to be off. And when I've turned this, when I've livened it back up, I've just got to find some fuses because this is an ancient building. And yeah, so stay tuned, kiddies. This is how I die. I love you, Trish. All right, well, I'm back. Uh, these fuses uh, power the conveyor that I would have shown you already. I'm doing this a little out of order, but I'll show you when I get back there. Um, I've got continuity on this fuse, like the first one. These two are both blown, so they've lost two phases on the machine, essentially. Um, I'll flip you around. I don't have a tripod or anything with you, but I'll sort of maybe show you. Okay, so probe on there, probe on there. Anyway, look, those two are blown. I can't, I can't show you. I need a fucking magnet or something. But yeah, have a go at this fucking old behemoth of the board. You can't open these. You've got to turn it off to open. And how it works, I don't know if you can see, but in in there, just in there, the prongs engage. The, this whole apparatus, the fuses, get pushed in into the uh, bus bars of the panel. It's fucking sketchy as. So I'll probably have to leave this isolated. We'll replace these fuses. Uh, well, we didn't have the exact right fuses, but we've done a makeshift or done solution here. This is a temporary fix for tonight. So I'm critical that these guys get up and running again as soon as possible. I think it will be okay for one night. So yeah, I'll um, just gotta go mega this circuit. I'll show you that and then pretty well done. It's fucking nearly 10 o'clock Friday night. I wanna get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Right, so you have to take my word for it, but I just mega the um, line side of the isolator here. Turn the isolator off so the panel's isolated. I just want to know that this cable's okay because these uh, fuses tripping is a big deal. So I've tested earth, neutral, and ABC, and everything is pretty well on infinite scale, which is pretty good. Flips down to about 50 uh, mega ohms and then just creeps back up. So that's a good result for me. Yeah. We're back, business end. The fix is done, the mega test is clear. Uh, it's, these things have a pretty big spring in there, so maybe I'll one-hander. <laughs> and that says no or on, depending on your perspective. <laughs> right, we'll go flick the panel off the on and run the system. Lights off. Turn it back on. All the green lights are on. Nice. These are SEW drive gateways. We've got the gateways here. These control a lot of the motors in this place. Got a PLC there. PLC there. That was losing sync with everything. Uh, and this power supply here was the thing that they originally thought was the issue. And how's this for a classic example of what you don't want to see when you walk into fault finding and a control panel? Yoish. It costs a lot of money to fix these things and it's running, so. Um, these are OCW um, VSDs. They control like the motors, speed control for the motors on these conveyors. There's a few more down there. And you've got uh, motor breakers and thermal overloads here. Some relays, some relays there. And your circuit breakers for the motors. There's a C-Bus link, some big contactors to turn the panels on and off. She's alive, she's running. It's good to see. So I'm just gonna give it a tong, make sure it's 
not going too crazy with the amperages and yeah I'm just running through the system now doing startup checks so I'll just keep an eye on this and see what it's getting up to like I said those fuses that I replaced for 120 amp so they looked hot too if um if you noticed back in the video they were um quite discolored fucking hell boys you wouldn't believe this the safety contact here has dropped a face <laughs> all for nothing this is turning into a long one got the okay from the head engineer to do this we're bypassing the fucked contact in that uh safety thing uh the reason he's okay with us doing this is because if we lose a phase on a motor um the motors have inbuilt uh, phase failure comms so it will um knock out the system anyway they'll get an, on an error fault we've still got that so it daisy chains it like it, go, it comes through here and then through this contactor and then out to the the mm -hmm. motor controls so um you've still got one layer of redundancy but for most of the time you need two contactors to get the redundancy one in a billion chance that both of them fuse closed you know that's that's the reasoning um this is only going to be until it's replaced it'll be replaced by monday morning so they're pretty heads it's friday night now it'll get us out of trouble for the day it's been a grueling one it's fucking nearly 11 o'clock now just got to get this part number for a replacement and i am out of here Mwah. for confirmation that you worked <laughs> Video proof, boys. <laughs>